Apoc here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to run through a little bit of a beginner's version of a AMR walkthrough. I'm finally getting the red tabs on my Forerunner for my uh, uh, AMR, and I want to kind of go through my strategy, see if it'll help you get past what you need to as well. Kind of move into those higher level red tabs, kind of get, you know, obviously better uh, drops, right? So let's get after it. See if I can help you out. Now, as you've seen just a second ago, I'm only on day 39. So this account is very early on still, and I'm trying to push as much as I can to try to get these red tabs. Obviously, like I was saying, the red tabs in any any uh, raid is going to give you better uh, uh, better drops, better gear, better stuff, right? If you look here in 12, it was just the goldies. If you look over here in 13, red tabs, I'm getting two to four, right? I'm, I'm starting to get some of these good ones, real good ones. So, after... Uh, with all that, let's let's get into it. Now, with the heroes, I have a very basic hero selection. I don't have a ton of good heroes. I don't have a ton of heroes in general. Much less, I don't have a ton of heroes leveled up and maxed out. Most of these are, are, are five star. You know, even this guy. Look, I, I don't even have him. Uh, um, he's only four star promoted, right? Uh, even my damage dealer here, she's only five star promoted. So. Um, definitely not maxed out in any uh, stretch of the imagination and the hero on these this is my best defense gear and I'm only at a 46 you know what I'm saying <laughs> uh, you know gives me some pretty good HP all the way up to 90 but uh, I mean look at my gear you know what I mean it's it's uh, pretty rough pretty rough, pretty rough. And that's my best geared uh, hero for defense you know look at my best attack hero got more hp gear on her than anything you know what i'm saying like it's just like rah, rah. not much not much to brag about not much to brag about at all so those are the heroes this is what i'm gonna try to get done and let's go over the strategy now now i may need to adjust obviously i have not passed this yet but what i will do actually restart first i want to put my cost generation down she will be my tank up there in the corner. I will put damage dealer down next. And we'll wait, wait, wait until he puts one foot into this very last one here. And, and moves forward and puts it down doom. All right, good deal. Got him going there. Put my attacker there. Great, we're getting some cost generation going right there. Perfect. Another attacker. All right, I'll slow it down a little bit. Starting to do some pretty good damage. We are going crazy. Let's get that ultimate. My tank is about halfway dead now, right? But I have two people next to him. So I'm going to use that. It'll share his power with that. Now, I've already got her using her ultimate. I would like to let her finish that ultimate before I swap her out with a healer. So almost done. Almost done. Pump that final bit of damage. And good deal. I can pull her put in my healer all right so now i have a little bit more to play with right a little bit more I'm gonna put my next big attacker right here i'm gonna put another defender here to help out 18 boom awesome now my damage dealers are going crazy on this guy pump it back up to two i got an extra defender here so that this attacker wrath can actually focus on the the task at hand here this guy's doing plenty enough to defend or at least hold back so I can really get these guys going. Uh-oh. Get, get another defender up there. I just need to hold off for a few seconds. A few more seconds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kill him. Ah, uh, kill, 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 kill. Oh, that was so close. But I think we still got it. I think we still got it. Come on. Come on. Get that attack. It's 12%. 10, 7. Oh, awesome. Got him, coach. Got him. I almost had to reset that one. <laughs> uh, I get really close there. Uh, but as you guys can see, you know, up here in this corner, you really got to prevent these guys from coming down. You know, uh, ideally, if I had some better uh, HP gear, I'd definitely load Serene up with more tank gear. Uh, I don't care about crit rate, none of that stuff. You know, uh, if you want to do uh, attack speed or rage regen, uh, that'd be nice, you know, just to help out with cost generation. But I mean, to be honest, the cost generation is just a very small help because it only helps you in the first 
you know, first couple, you know, maybe 45, maybe 60 seconds of, of the of the of the round. After that, I mean, you usually have either everybody down or enough cost generated by then that uh, a cost generator is just not necessary. But it really helps you get all the people you can out as early as possible. Uh, and with AMR, you really, you know, I'm sure you know, you, the, the catch is to do as much damage as fast as possible in the level. Because the, the longer the level goes on, the more baddies start to come out, the more strong, uh, you know, the baddies are when they do come out and attack you. And so the more, you know, defense and the more uh, attack that you're going to have to have just focused on the little critters coming in and attacking the big guy, right? So... It, it, it becomes really advantageous to try to knock him out as fast as possible. And that was the entire reason that I put my marksman on that platform just for a, just a first ultimate time frame to try to get a little bit extra damage on there as I could, right? Uh, as, as quickly as I could before I swapped to Vortex. Take a look at these stats. Oh, of course, she was killing him. Killing him. Outstanding. Wrath was doing great. She did she did almost as much as Wrath, but she was only out for one ultimate time, you know? Uh, and then of course, look at all that damage he just took. He took all kinds of damage. 200,000 damage. Doing a little bit of healing there. Um, and the rest of them, yeah, that wasn't really doing much of anything. Wasn't able to, you know? Gear-wise, kind of stuck. But that's, that's, that was the plan, right? My one damage dealer pumping out as much as possible. Look, I don't even have her max and her gear stuck but one damage dealer pumping out as much as possible everyone else doing it now there was a reason why i put her on the uh right side there's a reason i put wrath on the left side let's go over that again real quick and i'll show you i'll just do the auto run make it easy so i don't have to uh lay it out as we talk So you real quick as we go over this can i make this slow down yeah. anyway so if you'll notice i put wrath over here on the left hand side for a reason i put her over here on this early game account there's not really anything big coming from over here so she's not gonna have to turn around and attack anybody on this side which means that her attack is almost a hundred percent focused on the baddie you look at wrath wrath is, is although is a good attack he constantly has to turn around and fight the baddies over here. That's why I put that additional, uh, here, I'll just run a couple in, in a row so I can be talking about it. Auto fight, maybe five. Right. And uh, Wrath right here, he keeps having to turn around and stop attacking the big guy and face these baddies that are popping up over here. You see right here, watch these guys. Wrath is doing good, he's pumping out damage, and then he has to stop. And now he's completely engaged with these guys. He attacks one or two times, stops, and turn around. Completely engaged with these guys again. He attacks once or twice, and then stops. That's where this guy comes in. I put a good defender here, and what that does is it allows Wrath to really focus on attacking the big baddie in the middle uh, uh, more often, right? More often. But, again, that's why I put my heaviest damage dealer on this side, so that she's just the whole time just bam 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 nobody interrupts her nobody gets uh you know in her way she didn't have to stop what she's doing all of her ultimates 100 percent on there all that stuff right it's a big focus obviously it happens a lot faster now because of uh the power of dominance you know, things like that but that is the technique man. that is the technique i put that that cost generation tank up here in, in the top and then you know even if you don't have a cost generation up here just put a good tank up here put a good tank a little bit of a little bit of attack and we can kind of kill them off and and they're not just sitting up here piling up but you know a tank up there nonetheless and uh you know two real good fighters is all you really need there two real good fighters they can pound them out and another good defender here another good defender here i mean my uh uh what's his name azor or whatever name is he's garbage right now he's absolute garbage i, I don't have I, I just put you know i think i even got some purple gear on him. it's just like it I, I don't have good gear on him at all uh he's not maxed out uh, i have not put a single skill crystal on him you know what i mean like 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 uh e even as far as artifacts i think he has a level one um gold artifact on so it, it's just like 
you don't have to have a ton of really maxed out heroes you don't have to have hardly any maxed out heroes to be able to get to levels like this guys so if you have any questions put down in the comments i'll try to get back to you or hit me up on discord i'm always pretty active on there if you guys got questions on hey what about this what about that but until next time see you in the next video if you enjoyed that video guys check out my channel here or my latest video here until next time hey out